Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, Sebmi Remote Support Software Review. So, the links to the tool I'll be using right now, we will find it under the video, so let's get started. So, let's talk about Sebmi here. A remote support tool that's trying to do something different in a space that's kind of, well, stuck in the past. Now, you know how most remote desktop tools either feel bloated, laggy, or just way too complicated to use. Some of them have been around forever and haven't really changed much, like TeamViewer or AnyDesk here included. And they work, or in this case, they work, sure. They often feel, uh, feel like they were designed a decade ago and just patched along the way. Now, Sedmi, on the other hand, is a fresh take. Now, it's built by the same people who made FixMe.it, a tool that's been around for over 18 years, but this time, they're basically started from, or they just basically started from scratch using modern tech. Most importantly here, WebRTC, which is the same real-time communication tech that powers like Zoom and Google Meet. That means faster connections, lower latency, and better handling of things like network, drops, or firewalls, or dynamic IPs. Now, in this case, one of the biggest things you'll notice right away is how ridiculously simple it is to get started. So, no admin rights, no weird installation hoops, the support tech, or you, if you're providing support, just installs the Setme expert console. Then the person on the other end, the remote user, goes to setme.me and downloads a tiny client app. Now, they run it, get a random six-digit code, tell it to the tell it to the expert, and then actually boom connection established that's it no digging into this uh, system settings here no driver installation no plugins it just works straight out of the box here and for business they're even portable version for one time sessions and an msi installer if you need to deploy across multiple computers at once super handy for id teams managing lots of devices now in this case what about the control options here and ui now when you're connected, you get two modes here. Start view, which in this case lets you see the remote screen, but not control it. Great for walking someone through steps. Now you also have start control, which in this case lets you take over the remote machine and fix whatever's broken. Now the interface is clean and practical here, and you'll find uh you you won't find 50 tabs or fancy dashboards here. It's all about it's in this case, it's very straightforward, and the toolbar at the top gives you access to screen recording, screenshots, view settings like zoom or quality, and even laser pointer tools, which is surprisingly useful for guiding someone's attention without taking control. Now, if you're like keeping logs or reporting your uh, work here, you'll appreciate that any screenshots you take get stored right on your console for easy reference. Now, also, they have file transfer. Now, in this case, uh, file transfer feature here because this is where Setme really flexes. Now, transferring files between Windows and Mac, it's actually pretty instant. No file size limits, no weird compatibility issues. You can literally just drag a file from Windows desktop and drop it into a Mac screen. And it shows how you can literally just drag a file from Windows desktop and again, use uh, add it into your Mac screen. Now, uh, in this case, immediately. And if you're transfer multi or transferring multiple files here, Sebmi catches it to make sure transfers are faster. And that's something that shows that they actually use the product themselves. It solves real ID headaches. Now, also another thing that you'll appreciate here is, especially if you're managing machines for clients or employees, is unattended access. Now, you can set it up uh, once and get back in anytime without needing someone on the other side. And you can even reboot sleep, uh, reboot, sleep or shut down the remote machine and reconnect it once it boots back up. And here's something cool here. Sebmi keeps sessions alive even after three days of inactivity. Most tools, uh, in this case, uh, you or out tools out there uh, are out after an hour or two. So that's a game changer here if you're troubleshooting a problem that takes a while or waiting on someone's schedule. Now, when it comes to the security and stability here, since Sebmi is built on WebRTC, everything is end-to-end -end encrypted right out of the box. No extra security, add-ons needed. It also handles flaky networks like a champ. So if wi the Wi-Fi cuts out for a second, you're not getting kicked out or crashing the session. Now, what about their pricing here? Now, in this case, uh, it's actually pretty reasonable here. So you get a 15-day free trial, so no credit card needed. After that, it's a $49 per month uh, fee here. 
But currently, if you're going to look at their website, currently they are, they have the plan, the solar plan here, which is around $33, and the professional plan here with $41. Now, in this case, you can get the following features here, like for some auto mode support essentials, and if you get the professional here, you get like three license users per seat. So, yeah, so compare that to something like uh, other uh, platforms out there, pricing is higher. And in this case, device limits get in your way here, and it starts to make sense why Setme is catching attention. Now, in this case, if you're someone who need, who's been frustrated, uh, frustrated with the likes of, uh, in this case, apps or apps that are too complicated to use for you, either because they feel outdated or too complex or too expensive, well, Setme is 100% worth it to try. Now, in this case, it got a modern fast connection engine, a drag and drop sim, uh, in this case, interface or simplicity here, and unattended access without headaches, and also tru truly a cross platform support and a pricing model that doesn't nickel and dime you for extra devices. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and square button and watch our next video.